An Alabama pastor has been arrested, leaving not only his church, but his entire community in absolute shock, especially after the position that he was in. We're going to get into all the details of what went down in just a second. Welcome, everybody, to Not By Sight News. Yes, a blind Christian guy here reporting to you, reminding you, as always, we walk by faith, not by sight. For someone like me, that's kind of my only option. Speaking of that, for those interested, you want to know my story about how I went blind and how I operate my entire ministry without being able to see. I made a video that explains it all. There's a link to that in the description section of all my videos. Also, if God puts it on your heart to do so, consider making a generous donation to support my ministry. A few different ways you could do that. One, hit the super thanks button on the YT video here to make a contribution that way, or join my Patreon for as little as five bucks a month, patreon.com slash notbysightnews, link in the description. Joining Patreon, you get all the videos before they hit the main YT platform. Also, some exclusive links to these topics that we discuss, some that have to go up on Patreon. You know, you got to be careful with what you include on YT. Also, you can comment censorship-free in all videos and even send me DMs. So check it out again. It's patreon.com slash not by sight news big thank you to everybody already contributing and those thinking of doing so thank you as well your generosity is greatly appreciated well on monday april 8th pastor michael cobb of moundville methodist church in alabama was arrested along with the director for the church's daycare ministry so what exactly went down here police allege that they received credible information around April 2nd, that as far as the daycare goes, there was misconduct going on there by some of the daycare workers. And they had reason to believe that not only did the director of the daycare know about it, but also the pastor himself, Michael Cobb. Now, upon police arriving to the church and daycare on April 8th, they wanted to interview you know, many of the workers here and they confronted Cobb and they said they were surprised because, you know, Cobb told them that, you know, if you want to get in here, you need a warrant. I want to see a warrant before I let you in here. So the police said, not a problem. They left. They came back. Not only did they have a warrant to search the property, but they also had an arrest warrant for the pastor and his director of the daycare as well. Now they are both being arrested and charged with failing to report this misconduct there in the children's daycare, as well as obstructing an investigation of the property. So two charges here, and they are both currently being held uh, in the jail as of April 8th. Now, the following day on Tuesday, April 9th, police in police had arrested one of the daycare workers, a 59 year old woman, And also, they are looking into potentially more arrests as well. So this is really bad here. Now, according to what the pastor and the director said, upon being interviewed, they they denied, again, that they had any prior knowledge whatsoever, you know, that any sort of, you know, misconduct was going on here at all. They did say that there was a meeting that they held in March, and this was with, you know, the daycare workers and other church staff. And they said that absolutely under no circumstances is any physical discipline allowed in the daycare whatsoever. That's what they're alleging. However, the director in her own statement later on said that they actually did have knowledge and that they had planned to fire one of the daycare workers that apparently was engaging, you know, in this misconduct when it came to their position. Oh, so all of a sudden now the stories aren't matching up. So what exactly was it? that the daycare worker did. According to police, the means of discipline that the daycare worker decided to use were getting a spoon to use to, you know, get these little ones in line as well as biting them. Yes, this is going on in a church's daycare. These are the types of individuals that they are, I guess, are apparently hiring here. Now, how that process works that we still don't know. We have no idea what sort of a background check or or what they put these workers through. I'm guessing maybe nothing at all. Uh, and the fact that they tried to hide this and cover it up makes it even worse. Now, Moundville Methodist Church did not release a statement on their pastor's arrest. And well, I'm sure they don't want to say anything about this because who knows how many others there on staff knew this was going on as well. However, 
as of April 8th, the church's daycare has been shut down indefinitely. Thank God for that. This is not a place that if you are a parent, that you want to be entrusting your kids over to these daycare workers. I mean, the pastor is entrusted to not just lead his congregation, but also to keep these kids safe. That's apparently not what he was doing at all. They tried to lie to police. They'll come back with a warrant. Yeah, they got your warrant, and then they got an arrest warrant for you too. So we will see where this goes from here. Uh, and you know, as far as how much jail time the pastor and the daycare director could be facing as well as the worker. Remember, there still could be more arrests on top of this. So I'll keep you updated on it if we get any more additional information that gets released. Now, look, if you are somebody that if you attend Mountville Methodist Church and you'd like to chime in on this, Perhaps you had one of your own little ones that was a part of the daycare and you'd like to speak up about this. Feel free to leave your thoughts down below here in the comment section. Just another pastor being exposed. I mean, we talk about this every single day. It's, it's truly sad, but, you know, God has been doing this now for quite some time. Remember, judgment starts in the house of God. That is why you are seeing more and more of these church leaders going down. No matter how it's happening, you know, whether it's somebody bringing forth credible information or God uses other means, it's all coming out. Everything that has been hidden is now coming out into the light. And these arrests right here for everybody involved, this is going to help keep these little ones safe. What I want to do right now, something I do on all these videos, let's end this video on hope. It's part of my ministry outreach. What this is, is an altar call. I've been doing this on my videos since 2016, no matter what it is that I'm discussing in the church, exposing the false prophets, we always want to give people the opportunity to receive Christ as Savior. So for anybody watching now, if you're somebody that has not yet received Jesus as Lord and Savior and you would like to do so, I want to lead you in a prayer to do that right now. This is a prayer you could do in your own words, but I will give you the steps you need to bring it before the Lord today. First thing you want to do right off the top, acknowledge you are a sinner. That is something that we all are. The good news is that God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world. As he died and rose again for you and me, he paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin. That means to turn from sin, not just to say you're sorry and jump back to your old ways, but to actually turn from sin, which are those lifestyles, patterns, habits, behaviors, things in your life that go against the word of God. If you humbly go before the Lord, though, and ask him to forgive you, he'll wipe your sin away. And the Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision that you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. Again, more info down below. Don't forget the links to donate to the ministry are there as well. Join the Patreon for as little as five bucks a month. Patreon.com slash news or hit the super thanks button on the YT video here to make a contribution that way. It's all a great blessing. Thank you all again so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.